tonight. From Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Well, straight ahead, it's a rematch from last year's NFC Divisional Round matchup as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco 49ers. the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s the Niners the Cowboys they're underway and able to get this out to the 25 the Niners offense set to go to work and it's last year's revelation Brock Purdy who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State there weren't many bigger stories last season than Purdy who's officially the most famous Mr. Irrelevant of all time. Won each of his first five starts and almost guided his team to a Super Bowl. He's really forced the team to reevaluate its plans at quarterback because he looks like the real deal. First play and Purdy wants to throw it. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game so just play number three here on the opening drive and it's an early third and one Back to throw, Purdy. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. yards on the punt give him just one yard on the return and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten so the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time and it is their now 30 year old quarterback Dak Prescott who leads the way Prescott has some things to clean up from last season leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played but we can't overlook the good 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. 
That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Second and 10. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They'll come up facing third and five. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A great run by Pollard, and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run, and he had his first 1,000-yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I can assure you, setting up the screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Ray Ray McLeod deep here for the Niners. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. 
And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, Purdy. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10. He's going to use his legs here. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Third and 12. 19, 19, 19. Here's Purdy. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through. Pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Here's Pollard again. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Third and two. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. 
Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down, Pollard again. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First and 10, Prescott. That's Gallup on the slant. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now Prescott. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. To throw is Prescott. Trying to improvise. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. And he's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Prescott to throw it. And he's going to go down again. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Breaks up how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead.
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. this down to McCaffrey and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup nice little nifty play for him there yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily and I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover hey we got everybody cut oh he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there what do we love to say get those backs into space right and they were able to do that there nice pickup on first down and another fine run there this one good for 15 he's come out on a mission here to start this drive another first down that's the type of impact play you expect from McCaffrey the comeback player of the year runner-up in 2022 despite a midseason trade put up almost 1900 all-purpose yards and also made his second Pro Bowl Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And they'll try to run the option here. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and nine. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 47 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 34-yard line, here's a second down and nine. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. Give him 18 on the play. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Samuel. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. A 
throwing here. Purdy got a man. That's IU. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. Had a pretty good game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, 49ers! Christian McCaffrey, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's finished off by a receiving touchdown from Christian McCaffrey. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 26. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Now Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Prescott from the gun. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 62 yards. And the Cowboys have regained the lead. Extra point up and through. And the lead is now 10-7. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it as we resume action.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll start by running the option to the right, and the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Purdy off the play fake. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The take, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. Lawrence is somebody who remains a fearsome rusher off the edge, even if the sack totals aren't as high as they used to be. But 17 forced fumbles over the last six seasons proves he's still getting the job done. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw right side, take it in by Gallup. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He finds his man, Pollard. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's a second and eight. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up.
Here's third and six. Throwing. Prescott. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Now a give here to Pollard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Here's a second and five. Prescott now. And it's caught. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. signal but none forthcoming they stopped him shy of the goal line call it no gain and it's going to be second and goal they're right there at the one no gain but don't let that stop you line back up and keep going at them if i'm them i'm thinking about going at it four straight times so they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points can they find the end zone here and he will take it in for a cowboy score Tony Pollard punching it in from a yard away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run.
The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain did it to perfection the last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 he's gonna keep this again and he probably should have given that one off as he's gonna get hit and taken down behind the line they wind up losing a couple there so they go behind the original line of scrimmage and now third and 11 coming up i don't think there's any doubt that if it's me i'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Purdy now to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking. A lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 86 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. First down, and it's Pollard again. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. That's got this one complete to Pollard. 
It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Play action now, Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 12-yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And again, it's Prescott. That's complete right around the eight. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now it's third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. Breaks through the contact. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they'll come up second and seven. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They go play action here, Purdy. Now he's flushed out left. 
Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. The Niners on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. Now Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. To me, this is a case of if you're not getting the ball, you've got to do your job and block for the guy who is because there really wasn't much there. And, boy, the defense took advantage with that loss. And the defense, they were just locked in there on third. They had more guys than they could block. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Standing just outside his own goal line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. From the 46, here's second down and two. On play action, Prescott. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Third and four. He'll drop to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. First down, Prescott. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Now a second and ten. Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now the Cowboys gonna burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. To the air again, Prescott. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the 49ers are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The defense had geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity lost. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now second and five. 55. Back to throw, Purdy. Shifts free at the 15. And they'll get him down up past the 15. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They gotta change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Final play of the half, Purdy. Buying time to his left, and he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, 
It's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Prescott. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available in incompletion as a result. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Prescott yet again. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. Pollard gets it off the option. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Another one to C.D. Lamb. He's got it. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They'll run with Pollard. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pick up on the ground on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Pollard again, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, 
They've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 23 and he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey and he finds a little bit of room enough for four yards it'll be second down they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here and if it's a long play so be it but the main goal get a couple of first downs run some plays run some clock allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score now a second and six. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Four now. Here's first and ten. Here's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 38 now, here's a second down and six. Purdy. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful.
And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. Now, I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Now Purdy to the sideline and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Purdy looking to throw. Samuel bringing in the slant. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forgive the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here, second and 11. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Mike, six, 33, 33. Out of the gun, Purdy connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, 
With no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Pollard will take it up the gut. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. Scott looks to throw on first. His throw incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Second and ten. Prescott. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Play action, now Purdy. toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Here's second and 10. the option here's McCaffrey they get six that'll leave them with third and four I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run and right now they're not doing that and that really chips away at your confidence well they were handed great starting field position on this drive but now they face a third and four 
A throwing here, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. Samuel. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. From the 22 now, here's second down at seven. Now Samuel. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash dropped at the one. The end result, 21 yards. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. They'll try the option on first and goal. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Brock Purdy keeping it himself from a yard out. And the 49ers are able to cut into that deficit. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in. Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback, <laughs> Takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Now Moody for the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On 
on first and ten. Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down? They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. From the 21, here's second down and three. Prescott to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Running right, it's Pollard. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. But this one now, Charles, you'd have to think all but over. I would agree with that because this offensive line, they've been physical from the first snap of the game, and it's taken a toll on this defense. And it was never more evident than on that play right there. They continue to move the line of scrimmage forward, and they open up enough space there to get their guy into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. That time, a six-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Ray Ray McLeod to return. Unable to corral him. He fights through and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Niners set to take over on offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. 
this spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football unfortunately there's the risk of big turnover and you know you're going to be throwing against nickel dime all sorts of exotic defenses but you have to do it anyway ordinarily you might want to run the football a little bit try and get them out of it but as you noted this time of the game this point on the clock had to throw it From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Following the interception, here's Prescott. That is caught at the seven yard line. Yeah, the Cowboys are gonna be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're gonna ride. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out and the Cowboys up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter and that rushing touchdown is fourth puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game and we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one does he what a what a performance what an absolute great game that he's had here in this one now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Inside the 20. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. Well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception. And this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Prescott now. A throw out wide, gonna be incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Prescott from the gun. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On 
third down, it's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. And a decisive advantage became even more decisive. They already had the win in hand, but they keep pressing the tempo and they pile on with another touchdown reception. Would you consider that touchdown a reward to all the tight ends on their roster for their effort today? Not just running their routes, but all the time they spent in the trenches laying down blocks, doing the little things to help that offense succeed. And for doing all of that, they definitely want one of their tight ends to get a touchdown to really seal this blowout. The extra point splits the uprights, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will wrangle him down a couple of yards shy of the 30. There are the 49ers getting set to trot out there. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Birdie off the play fake. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to be brought down right there. So nothing after the catch as he's dropped at the 42. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook. But they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big. And that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Second and five. Purdy now to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, so a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. The Niners on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Purdy from the gun. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Two yards to go, second down. Now Purdy. 
This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 18. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Uh, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Are you going to go in motion right? He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And they'll get him down right around the 16. It was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. This is second and eight. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Shotgun now with Purdy. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Purdy, big fourth down play. He's got his target. That's complete. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, 49ers. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we got to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Extra point try now for Moody. And that'll cut the lead down to 28. So that one along 11 play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start out here with the option left. 
And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 41, here's a second down and four. Option play, here's Pollard. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 15. They're going to look to throw. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second down and eight. Looking to throw. Purdy back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he's able to get up here to the 26. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. to throw. Purdy. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games where you just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere. 
as they bury him behind the line. That play ended for a net loss thanks to Javon Hargrave. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they get a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Throwing. Prescott. Over the middle complete. That's Ferguson. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Defense was thinking run, and their delta pass of just under 20 yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. is in touchdown Dallas now they just continue to roll and Charles for you and I we want the close games but for them it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose and have this much fun I think they'd love to be able to capture this game carry it with them from week to week and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games Now the try here for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive, four plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Operating from the gun. Purdy. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Back to the air on second down, Purdy. This will be caught at Samuel. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 26. A very solid gain of 27. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Back to throw, Purdy completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he's brought down at the 16. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first down, Purdy. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. touchdown originally and this will stay a touchdown after the video review so they had it right now Moody for the PAT and that'll cut the lead down to 28 so the drive there took six plays and it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And we are inside at two minutes left in this lopsided affair. 
So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. Yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Nice pickup. 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Silicon Valley.